Okay, now the Lord just had a few words with me earlier and confirmed what I've been think, what I've an idea that I know, that I think um, that uh, the Lord is. I've I've taught this before. The Lord is certainly capable of doing it. Uh, he created the, uni the, the universe and the world and knows how to mould the atoms, as it were. The Lord is certainly capable of preserving a human being eternally on earth. He certainly has the capabilities to do that. He's capable of doing it. It can be done. God can do that. It's as simple as that. He can do it. Now, he's prepared to do it if religion is serious enough and regulated enough properly. Regulated enough regulations, rules, laws. Proper conduct. Proper conduct. If a religion is prepared to be regulated enough properly, and mainly a Torah sort of idea, rules and laws, decent behaviour ideas, if it's prepared to do that, and comply with the requirements, and yes, he can actually stay physically. Gave me the tree of life because he was happy with me to stay physically. Now, there was a speculation I had just, just that the angel saga, the, the realms and the, the worlds of the angel saga, I should probably visit a spiritual heaven to really have that done. My thinking is that in this expanding world, which will, will come up, that the... The realm of eternity and the realm of affinity from the Angel Saga at noahibooks.angelfire.com and noahibooks.neocities.org The realms of eternity, realms of infinity and the other realms and the earth and structures they're better off ultimately being created as it were into the expanding world in sort of an area of the world which grows an area of the expanding world a geographical location which grows. That's where the, the angel saga culture sort of fits. And a place of the world which gradually grows. It's got its own place in the world. It's, it may as well be physical. There's no need for it to actually be spiritual in an expanding world. It doesn't need to be spiritual. And I'm, I'm settled on, on the good green mother nature earth. So um, that, that's resolved that particular aspect of the thinking. And it's, it's this world. I'm not going anywhere. So I want to state again that God is certainly capable of preserving life on earth. That he can do it in a religion which is regulated. With people when it's regulated. And he doesn't really mind people knowing now as I've already taught in some of the other videos. So it's... Is it really the, the point is to just stretch you on for, for eternal life on earth? Uh, to get through life? Eternal life on earth videos are to get you through life? That was some of the arguments, probably from Michael a bit. But um, it's really... Well, God can actually get you to live eternally on earth in response to that. If you really must know, yes, he can. Factually, yes, he can. People know this is God created the world. Yes, he can grant you eternal life on earth. And he's willing to do it in a regulated religious system. So, you know, that's really the end of the debate.